okay? And in a Chinese sabaya, there are two flute solos. The Jamila Salampur format is truly the foundation of what we know as belly dance today. If you are a belly dancer, you've been touched by Jamila Salampur and the Jamila Salampur format. My mom was brilliant in the way that she chose to structure her format because nobody had ever written and structured a format ever before. Five, six, seven, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, going back. So my mom took steps and put names to steps, and that's how it all began. So she worked with Maya Medwar, and Maya Medwar's signature movement was a figure eight up to down, so she called that step Maya. My mom worked with Ahmed Jarjour, who did uh, basically, singles on the down, and so that was called Ahmed Shimi. My mom worked with Egyptian dancers, and they had certain amount of movements that were very specific to Egyptian dancers, and so that became the Egyptian family of movement, where you really see the utilization of the twists. My mom worked with Arabic dancers that would do a shuffling movement forward, and that became the Arabic family. My mom worked with the um, a woman who she would describe as a crazy Turkish woman that would spin, spin, spin at the end of her song, leap in the air and land on the floor on her back with her <laughs> knees bent and her leg tucked under her. So my mom called okay. that the Turkish drop. Don't practice here. You learn here. You practice home. Okay. Eight on the downbeat, eight on the upbeat. Okay. One, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So what you're going to be learning in the Jamila Salampur format is the foundation of what belly dance is today and what has become also the foundation of what is known now as American tribal style.